Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Peter Pan Mofo and in this video I'm going to teach you a little bit more about how to pan the cameras and how to cut your video clips. Just some little things that I've worked out since I've been using the Rockstar Editor. So first of all, obviously you want to add your clips and that, but I've already added my clip. Right, so this is my clip. You can make it so the camera follows the car. I always whack the first one onto free, road, free camera and then slow it down to at least 50% so when the cameras are moving you know you can see that the cars better that the cars in the view and stuff like that um, so what you want to do have the camera have it so it moves with the target so you don't go too far away from the camera um, all right so my first camera I want I'm gonna want up in the middle sort of thing so you edit the camera move it up that's where I'm going to want my first camera. Sure, it's in the center ish. Right, so I'm going to want one there. And you move with the player, it goes to the left and up here and stuff like that. But I don't want that. I want it to stay in the middle. So, what you need to do is just go through, keep adding the cameras as you go. So, edit the camera bring it back into the middle where I wanted it there and go for a little bit more and just keep rinsing and repeating this I'm just going to do it quickly so it might not come out very good but we'll see how it goes so you just keep going through adding cameras where you want the camera to be Probably better if I wasn't moving with the player on this one actually. So I want to just move that on until the car gets in the sight there. So I'm just holding down the bumper, the top bumpers, to move the time of the camera on the time frame. The reason I'm doing it without moving the player, it sort of keeps the camera on the same level then. And then I can just move forward rather than having to try and move up and down and it shouldn't look too bad when it pans between the cameras. So yeah, just keep doing that all the way through. Yeah, so once you've done it all, what you're going to need to do is then go back through all the cameras and change your settings. Right, um, so I've got all my cameras in the position and play it. It's going to keep changing and it doesn't look right, does it? It's not going smoothly between the cameras. So if I just go into cameras and what you want to do is put the blend mode on to linear. If you have it smooth it's weird, it sort of jumps at the end of the clip to the next bit. It's not very smooth at all. Uh, so go through and change them all to linear. Linear, whatever it is. You can skip between the camera angles using the uh, L1 and L2 buttons or R1 and R2 buttons. Now if you put the last one on linear, it's weird, it goes funny, so never put the last one on linear, always keep that one off. It's better to put them all on linear um, after you've put the cameras in the camera angle, in the angles you want. So now I've got them all on flexible, uh, not flexible, on linear, the camera should move smoothly between them. As you can see, it's going between the where the cameras are. Obviously, like it's not perfect. I'd go through and change them a bit. Um, you go back here, 
Let's see. Yeah, this one. As you can see the car's gone out of angle there. I could add another camera in here and bring it back a bit or change the angle of the camera so then the car stays in the camera if you see what I mean. And then there you'd add a camera there, edit that, pull it back and then the car should stay in the camera angle. I mean even with this you could uh, start like twisting the camera, go into each one and twist the camera and then the camera will spin round as you're going round. So you could do that as well, make the camera spin as well as move. Uh, just fiddle around with it and you'll get used to it after a while. The more you use it, the more you get used to how the cameras work and that. It is a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes, but... So, with this clip, I go down here, turn around and come back. But I don't want the bit where I'm turning around, I just want to start coming back straight away. Um, you can't actually put a cut in the clip, so just edit the end of the clip, bring it right back around to where you want the clip to end. So, there. Yep, so then you back out. Um, always make sure you set like a thumbnail so you know that you've what the clip is. So I'll set that as a thumbnail. Uh, back out, make sure you save it by pressing X or A. And then that clip saved. Um, now you can press the L3 button here to duplicate the clip and press the X or A to paste it again. Then you just go in, edit this clip and change the start time. Just go through, delete all the cameras. And break, move the start over. See, I need to move the end. What kind of camera angle is that? Take the end all the way where the end is, and we want to start it there. So that's how you have one clip split into two. Um, you can do other things like uh, on the intro of panning the camera to follow rockets and things like that. So with this one, I put the put it there. Then I put another camera over here where they hit um, but then in the middle it wasn't really looking at the rocket so I added this camera here because if it didn't have that camera there you see the rocket sort of went out of view so I added that other camera angle so the car and the rockets were more in view and then when I was falling down I just kept adding moving the camera to the left and a bit as you went down then you have the blend mode linear all the way down to the last one where you obviously don't have any. If I had it on blend it blends to some random position. It's always different every time for some reason. Anyway if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, share it with your friends. I'm Peter Pan Mofo, thanks for watching. That you never be lonely. Need a fan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely.